These 10-month-old foals are the world's first genetically edited horses, cloned copies of a Polo Prize winner named Polo Purezza or Polo Purity. But instead of genetically identical copies, these horses were cloned with a single DNA sequence edited using CRISPR technology. Entonces, lo que hicimos fue... What we did was transform this animal into a sprinter with greater speed off the mark over short distances. En, en distancias cortas. Argentine company Kiron Biotech, which produced the horses, says gene editing could revolutionize the sport. Here is co-founder and director Gabriel Viquera. La, la polo pureza tenía una conformación muscular. The polo pureza has a muscular build similar to that of a long-distance horse. These horses run long distances, tire less easily, but lack explosive power over short distances. Distancias cortas. Nosotros lo que hicimos fue... What we did was insert a sequence into the myostatin gene which regulates muscle mass. This gives it a higher proportion of type 2 fibers, which are the ones that contract quickly. But one thing remains to be seen, whether GE, genetically edited horses, will be allowed to compete. Polo, which originated in Central Asia, was brought to Argentina by British immigrants who founded the first polo club in Buenos Aires in 1882. The country is now regarded as the global capital of the sport. It's an expensive game. Players ride as many as a dozen horses per match. And in Argentina, wealthy land-owning families have traditionally dominated the sport. While the country has long welcomed reproductive technologies, including cloning, for the breeding of elite horses, the Argentine Polo Association has banned genetically edited animals. And some breeders say that while they appreciate how clones can help preserve the bloodlines, gene editing goes too far and threatens their business. Polo player Tobias Terredrado agrees that GE horses are unfair. I think that playing with those horses would be a huge disadvantage against the others. Because you think you're getting, for example, the best mouth of one horse with the best power of another horse, with the best action of another horse. You're putting it all together and modifying it into one. It's a total disadvantage for those who can't achieve that. But Kiron co-founder Daniel Samaratino says he is confident that the polo community will eventually come around. I believe that these horses should be registered as normal horses. It is common and ordinary. Breeding is big business in Argentina, which exported about 2,400 polo horses in 2024, according to government data. When a cloned horse sold at auction in 2010 for $800,000, Viquiera, who was then a biotech doctoral student, took notice. He went on to co-found Kiron with Samaritino. Its first cloned horse was born in 2013. Four years later, the Kiron lab produced the first GE horse embryos for research purposes, using CRISPR genetic scissors to cut and customize DNA. Then, late last year, five GE foals were born. Argentina's biotech regulatory agency verified the DNA edit, according to a government document reviewed by Reuters. The Department of Agriculture, which oversees the biotech regulatory agency, declined a request for comment. Treading cautiously due to pushback from breeders, the Argentine Association of Polo Horse Breeders told Reuters it will monitor the horses for four or five years before deciding on whether to register them as Argentine polo ponies. I disagree. Are we going to wait four or five years to determine that it is an ordinary horse? That is already known today. Is it not genetic doping? That is already known today. Does it play polo? That is irrelevant. He told Reuters that plans to commercialize their gene editing service are on hold until the polo authorities are on board.